Hey guys, welcome back to Ahmed Coaching and this is your teacher Dr. Anam. Today's lesson is about factors affecting enzyme catalysis. Thousands of amino acids they coil upon themselves to form a globular structure of an enzyme. The structure and interaction of the enzyme are very important for its proper functioning. In a living cell, many factors can influence the catalysis of an enzyme. The main factors that affect catalysis are temperature, pH, substrate concentration and enzyme concentration. Let's study all these factors one by one. First factor is temperature. The enzyme works to its maximum rate at a specific temperature which is called optimum temperature. For example, the optimum temperature of enzymes present in human body is 37 degrees Celsius. An increase in temperature enhances or speed up the rate of chemical reaction or enzyme catalyzed reaction. But it happens only to a point. As the temperature increases to a certain limit, heat energy contributes to the activation energy and also provides kinetic energy for the reactions and reaction is speed up. However, heat energy increases the vibration of enzyme atoms when the temperature is elevated above the optimum temperature and that results in the loss of globular structure of enzyme. This process is called enzyme denaturation. Denaturation of enzyme reduces the conversion of substrate into products and thus affects the rate of an enzyme catalyzed reaction. Second factor that affects enzyme catalysis is pH. All enzymes work to their maximum rate at a small range of pH which is called optimum pH. A minor change in this pH induces denaturation or complete blockage of enzyme catalysis. Each enzyme has its own optimum pH which is unique to it. For example, pepsin which works in the stomach is active at acidic pH from 2 to 3.5 while trypsin enzyme which is present in small intestine it is active at alkaline pH which ranges from 6 to 8. Now the amino acids which are present at the active sites they are affected by the change in pH and that is why the enzyme low loses its ability to catalyze substrate. Third factor is substrate concentration. An increase in substrate concentration increases the rate of enzyme catalyzed reaction. If the concentration of enzyme is kept constant and substrate quantity is increased, a point is reached where the rate of reaction is no longer increased by any subsequent increase in the substrate. Now the reason behind is that all the enzymes they are occupied in catalyzing the substrate and there is no free active site present which can accommodate the incoming substrate. This state is called saturation of active site and thus the rate of reaction remains stable and it does not increase. The last but not the least factor is enzyme concentration. The concentration of the enzyme at a specific time in the presence of unlimited substrate is very important for the rate of reaction. An increase in the amount of enzyme by twofold can increase or double the rate of enzyme catalyzed reaction. An increase in the enzyme concentration means an increase in the number of active sites. So more active sites mean more conversion of substrate into the products. So that was all about the factors which affect the enzyme catalysis. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and also share it with your friends. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video.